What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, the MRAC, or the Dancing Goblin here, is the boosts are all available, guys. And sorry if I seem pretty chill, I got a severe ear infection, and I'm just like very low energy right now, but we have to keep working. So, the boosts are all here, guys. You can do your crafting, equipment, paragon, progression. You can apply all the boosts, but just be careful. When you go to do the all boosts, it will replace all of your characters items as well as all everything that's in your inventory it completely resets so just be careful of that otherwise you can come in here and get like equipment click them again you can max all the aspects um you can grant random legendaries get all uniques all runes etc so just be uh careful we maxed out everything in here which is fantastic uh, so he is here. You can go through and do everything, and the runes are also available. We have already made our first rune, which I'm very excited about. Travel 50 meters and invoke the Barbarian's Enhanced War Cry for increasing movement speed and damage dealt. We're playing Dance of Knives still, and this is going to be insane. I'm still working on what my second one is going to be. But the runes are available, so we are going to be testing as much as we can with the Rogue and some of these different... Um, runes and combinations just to see what can really work and what's really powerful there's some other ones that really jump out um like the uh the rune where it gives you plus the skills or the rune that gives you guaranteed crits or the druids petrify is a very very strong candidate here for increased critical strike damage and stunning enemies uh this one's very very strong we just have to figure out what's a really good a ritual rune to gain some offering but all the runes are here so you guys can play with all of those um you can 100 percent just get all of your legendaries and all of your um let's go to equipment you can get all of your unique items so you come in here you can pop the mythic cash and you get a bunch of mythics which is fantastic double ga helmet there which is pretty cool it's on the shaco um, it gives you all of them, and then it's got the placeholder for the brand new um, staff for the Barbarian, which is insane. But you can go through and get these and rack up as many as you want. Um, I do have a bunch of Resplendent Sparks, 149. So if you want to go through and just mess around and craft your, you know, the best possible one that you can get, like a 4GA um, Mythic Unique, then feel free. Um, you can get max out all of your gems, all of your resources here, guys. Everything is in here, so now you can fully go on and test and really just push the limit on your character. So very, very happy about that. Um, the next thing is that all the glyphs are completely maxed, which is super cool. I will say in my last couple of videos that we talked about, the glyph leveling process is not bad whatsoever. And... You know, you, you can pretty comfortably get to 80 almost with any character. Uh, so getting your glyphs easily to 46 isn't going to be a problem. But getting them to 100 is going to be a little bit harder. But you can see all the damage rolls and increases here, which are just fantastic. And for some reason, we didn't get max Paragon points. I'm actually kind of interested why we didn't get that. That seems really weird. I was only able to put 236 in because I've been leveling this up. So I'm kind of curious to why we don't get max. Um, part of it is probably because we do not have access to the new section. So we don't get the additional points. But even then, I was kind of curious why we, you know, with the, the Paragon, why they didn't give us max Paragon points. Because if you come in here and you do a Paragon, right? Like it doesn't, I'm pretty sure it doesn't give you any more points. Yeah, it doesn't give you any more points in your Paragon, which is really weird. Um, I thought that they were going to give us max Paragon um, up to the maximum, but with the difference of whatever came from the new zone. So we didn't get that, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. Although, even with 236 points, like I'm able to pretty much max everything with some additional points left over that I, could, I just kind of threw into places. So this is going to be a video that we talk about in depth in another one. Because the Paragon system, I think, is I think is flawed. But we'll talk about that in another, in another thing. But your Glyphs are all maxed to 100, which is really, really cool. They all become legendary, which is great. Um, one thing that I should add with these caches, and I think maybe it was just an oversight, is that when you like go get uniques here, you notice that none of them have GAs, which is kind of a big bummer here. 
Um, and even if they're not GAs, you can see here that they're they're not even max 750s. So GAs are 800s, and then if you get a regular item that is maxed up, like if I come over here, like this item is a 615. Um, I do have a I do have a 750. So 750 of these boots is the maximum item power that I believe that you can get before you go to ancestral with 800. So I'm not sure why with all the legendaries that the devs did not give us like even if they didn't give us GA gear, at least give us 750s so we can test because some like some of these are just so all over the place like they're barely stronger than a legacy item. So I'm not sure why that was the um the particular play or call. But uh yeah, so just keep that in mind when you're trying to farm for this stuff. Um, or put these items in. It's very weird. Um, it's very, very weird that they, they just gave us that. But you can get all your all your uniques, random legendaries. You can get all of your tempering manuals. You can get absolutely everything. So now you can really go test after going through the... Uh, let's see if we can craft. Oh, craft a couple. Oh, no. We didn't get any. That's okay. What will it be? But yeah, guys. All of this is here. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy that the PTR, we really get to test out full-fledged now. Um, from a few things that we did not get, however, is we do not get any um, scrolls of retempering. We do not get any of those. So be careful when you're tempering your items because you won't be able to redo those. But outside of that, man, uh, it's pretty cool. Your wardrobe is there, right there with you, which I think is pretty unique, pretty awesome. Um, I think that's very, very cool. I think that's epic, actually, that you can just do this on the fly. I think that's super cool. But yeah, guys, all this is here. I just wanted to give you a nice little video and just showcase what happens when you come in here. Because if you apply all the boosts and you go through this, it'll reset your character. So just do it on a, um, on a separate one and get all the resources as many times as you want and then come in here and do this on your character so i did that reset and i lost all the gear that i had had which was some pretty good gear and now i had to go through and reset 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 now i will tell you this is that when you reset on a character it will give you a brand new set of gear all in here and this will all be ancestral with random gas one to three um so i did this until i found the gear to basically replace my old set so just keep that in mind guys otherwise you can max out everything so again just wanted to bring a nice little update video for everybody make sure to like the video let me know down in the comments section what do you guys think about the ptr and how your fares are going with it i'm really excited to see all the feedback that we give to the devs so we can have season six be the absolute best so like the video comment down below don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace